You may have heard that UPS is in quite the bitch fight with FedEx. Although they're both package delivery companies, they're governed by totally different federal labor rules. UPS's business is mostly tied to trucking, so it falls under the National Labor Relations Act, which makes it easy for workers to unionize. FedEx delivers most of its packages via airplanes, so it falls under a different set of rules that makes it tougher for FedEx employees to unionize. The result is that UPS's labor costs are more than double FedEx's. Now UPS and its unions are pushing to change FedEx's federal labor status to the same as UPS's. The Teamsters alone gave $2.4 million to Democrats in the 2008 election cycle, and they want rules that will make it easier for unions to organize in the private sector, where unions have dropped from representing a high of 36% of workers to just 7% today. Unions are a legacy of the Industrial Revolution, of an assembly line mentality that treated all workers as interchangeable. The main reason they've lost ground over the past 60 years is because work is increasingly individualized, and so is compensation. The move to screw over FedEx and its customers is contemptible, but it does make a sick sort of business sense. Why not use legislation to win what you can in the marketplace? And it tells us who the real villain is here. A federal government that is big enough and powerful enough to absolutely positively guarantee that it can crush any business overnight. Oh look, there's the package deliveries are.